PlayStation 3 is poised to rule a triumvirate of gaming generations. Its technology is advanced, ahead of the curve, with a price tag to match. There are two models available. A lower-end $500 model has a smaller 20GB hard drive for game storage as well as save games, demos, and other downloads. The $600 premium system sports 60 gigs and various flash card slots, a glossy silver trim, and wireless internet capabilities, though both have wired gigabit ethernet ports. Otherwise identical, let's take a closer look at what makes the PS3 tick and talk. There are several brains within the console. Under the moniker Cell, the 3.2 GHz processor houses seven cores, one power processing element, and six called Synergistic Processing Elements, or SPEs. Each core acts like a separate computer that can relegate a specific meaty task for games. One core can run the physics. Another keeps the artificial intelligence in line, while still another is handling the 7.1 sound matrix or can even be dedicated to lighting. Devoted to specific tasks, there's no chance of interruption as they crunch the numbers, they become growling aliens or football fields, with even the tiniest details, like a character's clothing response to the elements, which all helps transform games into a next level experience. An untapped core sits as a watchdog, guarding the PS3 from any malicious intent. The new issue for developers is how to budget the power while finding ways to make use of all of it. Dubbed the Reality Synthesizer, the graphics are provided by an NVIDIA graphical processing unit, a streamlined and speedy card set to stress per pixel placement over pushing more dots in a less organized raw manner. 256 megs of speedy memory is dedicated to graphics alone, and if that's not enough, it can grab some of the PS3's main memory as well, meaning more polygons can be pushed to build the worlds and characters. But it's not just polygons. Bump maps will give off greater depth while larger textures from the shiny gleam of a race car to the grimy terrain of a war-torn city will reflect or absorb all the dynamic lights at a resolution of up to 1080p. No other gaming system on the market can output in true 1080p. What's that number and letter mean? A lot. Over 2 million individual pixels are available to litter the screen, with games yielding over two times the amount of resolution offered from standard televisions. That means all the aliens, soldiers, car, weather, bullets, lights, and other elements the reality synthesizer is pumping out can be seen in exquisite detail. The P means progressive, drawing each horizontal line in sequence. Standard definition TVs are interlaced, meaning every other line is displayed, which can cause jittery images. That's a problem relegated to the past, now with the possibility of silky smooth progressive output in high definition. All those graphics, sounds, and code sit on a Blu-ray disc. This is a high-density disc that can currently hold anywhere from 25 to 50 gigabytes, or over 10 times more than a typical DVD. This means textures and sounds don't have to be compressed, so their quality remains high. There might never be a two-disc PlayStation 3 game, but imagine the epic game it would contain. That slot-loading Blu-ray drive will also let you watch Blu-ray movies, with a copy of Talladega Nights bundled in with the initial North American shipment. Again, the large data capacity allows movies to play out in high definition and progressive scan, bringing the home cinema to new heights. Here's a system with great graphics, pitch-perfect multi-channel sound, and high-definition movies to watch. Now, control it. The new six-axis control may look like a standard DualShock, but look closer and pick it up. It's extremely lightweight and wireless to boot. The only time it needs to be tethered is for boosting the batteries for another 30-hour charge. While the batteries are not replaceable, Sony is saying they'll be rechargeable for years and are working on a replacement strategy. But it's more than freedom from wires. It's also the liberation of control. The name six axis refers to the six degrees of motion detection the controller possesses meaning it senses three dimensions in both rotation and translational speed, turning dragon riding and dog fights into visceral events. The analog sticks have been made more sensitive by a factor of two, and a new PS button will take you to the console's cross-media bar and even turn the PS3 on and off. Rumble support has gone MIA due to a lawsuit, but the new features and support for up to seven players at once make it easier to forget. It's coming, and it wants to play.